Hello, it's Sean here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. I've moved from Washington State to San Antonio, Texas, and I am happy to be in this nice sunnier weather than I had back home. And now I am in a new garage, in a new setting. I still have lights to be putting in. I have a whole bunch of stuff I'll be setting up. In the meantime, I need to adjust my carburetor. Thought I would share that process with you. One of the things that's going on is I'm having a slight hesitation when I go to take off at the light or stop sign. And if you're getting that slight hesitation, it's possible that your uh, float bowls are not sitting at the right level. They could be either too high flooding your carburetor or a little too low and not getting enough fuel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that process and how you can do that. I have a Holley Truck Avenger uh, double, double float, um, but it's basically similar to just about any carburetor out there. They have floats in them, whether it's you have two floats or one float. In this case, I'll just go over uh, you know, the float in general um, as far as for what you can expect with adjustment. And well, let's get to it and go from there. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see here. Make sure to check out the other videos that are on the playlist. All right, here we go. By the way, sorry for any of the noise. I'm in a new construction zone, and so it, it gets a little louder on here sometimes, so sorry. Get a little light on the action too. As you can see here, we have our Holly carb um, right here. It's one of your... Uh, float screws and then there's your other float screw so two things you'll need is a flathead screwdriver preferably a larger one something of this nature and then you will also want to have yourself a 5 8 wrench or you can go with a 16 millimeter can also work we want to start off by going ahead and taking off your air cleaner, pull that off, set that aside, and then right up here is where you're going to do your float adjustments, but what we need to do is we need to disconnect, or I should say remove our screws. Right here, there's one. It has a little washer on it, so be careful you don't lose the little washer, a little uh, tiny rubber washer. Or not lose the screw altogether, preferably not. Okay, so there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. Start with, you're going to want to take your 5 8 or 16 millimeter to be able to loosen and tighten this. You'll need to have your flathead, preferably something fairly large so you can fit on the top of this to turn it. And the counterclockwise it causes the float bowl to go down. Uh, sorry, clockwise, excuse me. Clockwise causes the float bowl to go down. Counterclockwise raises the float bowl up. My problem is I believe my float bowl is too low when I'm trying to run it. 
So how do we how do we test that? How do we check that? Well you can take a light of some sort and shine it in there if you can. And it looks pretty darn dry at the moment. Okay, next step is if you have a electric fuel injection, you can go ahead and turn the key over. Don't start it, just turn the key over and that'll cause the fuel to fill up your float bowls. And if you're seeing the fuel coming out of here, then what you got going on is too much fuel. You'll need to lower your float bowl down. You want your fuel level to be sitting right at the bottom edge of this uh, screw hole on both sides if you have uh, dual float bowls. And then um, if you don't see it at all, well then you need to raise your float. Now if you have what I have, which is a, a manual fuel pump, you're going to want to turn it over. When you turn that over, it'll start pumping fuel into this area. And if that, if it, once again, if it starts to come out, then it's too high. If it's just barely dribbling, then that's okay. Then it's right at uh, top level. And if it's not coming out at all, it means you need to raise it, like I was saying. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Make sure you put your vehicle in neutral. And also make sure that, um, you know, Nothing's in front or behind and you chalk your wheels, all that good stuff for safety measures. Uh, you really don't want to run it too long. I do have a towel there to help couch any kind of fuel, but you don't want the engine to also heat up too much, which will end up causing the, you know, potentially the towel to catch on fire, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like a big old mess. So um, make sure everything's secure before you start and go from there. All right. So we actually have a double situation going on here. This one is getting too much fuel. This one's not getting any fuel. So that's a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this one down and then we're gonna adjust this one up. So what we got going on here is you want to take your screwdriver, you want to uh, put that up here, you want to take your, your wrench, put it on here, loosen this up on top first like this, and then you rotate it a certain amount. In this case, this is to raise the float ball up by going counterclockwise, and then Tighten it back down, like so. You do the same thing with this, but in this case, I want to loosen it up, and I want to go clockwise, like so. With this one, I'm gonna go a little extra, okay, and and tighten it back down. You want to continue to rinse and repeat this process until, like I said, you have no fuel pouring out of either one of these float bowls, or if you only have one or both. And then you want to go ahead, or if you don't have any 
uh, fuel coming out to adjust it again start the vehicle up see what's happening with the float bowls and repeat the process other than that that's about it I'm gonna go ahead and do those final adjustments I just wanted to walk you through the process I'll save you the painstaking setup of starting stopping adjusting starting stopping until I'm done but as you can tell one was kind of dry the other one was flooding out therefore I was having uh, definitely a float bowl issue hopefully that solves my problem hopefully that solves your problem and mosquito anyways so thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you learned something new today if not hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video nonetheless take care once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, right on.